Hey, what's up, guys? This is Lester05, so we have to hurry up because there's a bomb in Strut A that's gonna kill us all. And the big shell along with us, so we gotta hurry. It's Contact Stillman. The countdown has been initiated. Listen up. Time is absolutely critical. Hurry to the bottom of Strut A by the shortest possible route. Yeah? Should I apply coolant to the bomb in the same way as before? Wait, I'm still not sure yet. I'll try testing it out here first. For now, get yourself to the bottom of Strut A ASAP. Stillman, how you feeling? <sighs> All right. It's been a while since I've run, though. <sighs> Guess that means it's also been a while since you've run out of breath, huh? Are you accusing me of something writing? No, I didn't mean anything by it. No, no, I, I should be condemned. W wait, everybody makes mistakes. But it's the reasons behind those mistakes that become the real issue. What do you mean? The reason that bomb exploded, and the reason that I was saved, is because I was confronted by fear and I, I couldn't handle it. Halfway through disposing of the bomb, I succumbed to that fear. And when I realized what was going on, I had turned around and was running away from the bomb. The one who paid the price, however, wasn't me. After I regained consciousness from the shock of the blast, the first thing that my eyes met were the corpses of children crushed under a pile of rubble. Still, men. Yet, what do you think I felt at that time? A sense of relief. Relieved that it wasn't me. Oh. And that's not all. At the time, I was known as the top bomb disposal technician in the United States. And to someone like me. Yeah, whatever. So that's why he was upset. And I think that that bomb that went off was a bomb. Oh, I think Bam was actually in that church. That's what I think. That was so close. He almost caught. He almost um called, and I almost got caught. Another call, Stillman. Right, Bliskin. Listen carefully. What is it? I fell for it. Fell for what? That man has my number. A proximity trigger. Microwave. What? M microwave? With a seven-foot range. Uh-oh. It's not a technique I taught him. Neither was that multi-bomb booby trap. It looks like he's far surpassed me as far as explosives technique goes. As for the rest... Pete, get the hell out of there! There's less than 30 seconds left. It's too late. No! Preskin, get away from Strut Age as fast as you can. Pete! Right! Keep your distance. Use the spray from as far away as possible. Me? You can do it. I know that. No, I'm not so sure. But I am. Do it. I know you can. Bye, Stillman.
Well guys, Stillman is officially dead. It's, and it's all Fat Man's fault. The number one bomb technician is dead. Colonel, Stillman is dead. I know. Pull yourself together, right? I can't. I can't do this alone. Jack, are you listening? All right, calm down. Stillman is dead. There are no more explosive specialists. You're fine. I won't let you die. Rose. All right, then. Is sensor B equipped? Yes. See if it responds or not. Jack, no matter what, you have to bring an end to this crisis. Okay. I feel bad. It's all Fat Man's fault. Excuse me. Yeah, my dad's telling me that, um, it's time to eat. Um, I'm gonna end the part later, right when I tell you guys where the bomb is. Now, this is what really made me mad. See, the sound it came from over here, but from, but really, where it's really coming from is right here. Now, you go in the water, you can't use the coolant spray in the water. Look on top of this, and there's the, um, Sendless C4. Got your feet. Colonel, the sensor's picking up some... Colonel, how... Come on, Colonel. Colonel, the sensor's picking up something. It must be somewhere nearby. Right, there's a C4 some. Alright, I guess I'm gonna end the part right here. Stay tuned for the next part.